I think some of our newer targeted therapies and immunotherapy approaches are really going to really blend in well with surgery so that surgery is the one way that we can tell if somebody's treated with a systemic agent alone, say they get immunotherapy alone, they have a complete response, we can do a minimally invasive surgery to not only make sure that we clear disease but even document that there's no disease whatsoever and maybe spare people any additional therapy and also reduce the scope of our surgery. Uh, the second thing I would say is that we are going to have a whole host of imaging technologies available. They're just really starting to become clinically applicable. We're, we're going to know exactly where a tumor is, even a microscopic tumor, so that when we do surgery, we can make sure we get all of the cancer the high percentage of the time and reduce the need for additional therapies that could be debilitating in combination with therapy. So we can really choose who's good for surgery and maybe who's not good for surgery, who really can't benefit from a surgical approach and is better treated with other therapy approaches like radiation, chemotherapy, and immunotherapy and targeted therapy.